as the one you just saw. Because we like to film videos on the same day because she's not around that I'm much. never, yeah, exactly. But when I move to New York, it's going to be different. Oh, yes. So, we wanted to do a video. We actually, side note, we film these on the May 22nd when we film haul video and stuff. But I wanted to redo them because I feel like after a few months, I've had time to really recollect and think about stuff. So here are our must-dos for each park and a must-don't. So we're going to have two must-dos and then one must like don't don't and granted, don't do it. This is coming from just one trip from Walt Disney World. We're not like people who have gone multiple times, but this is uh, if it's your first time going to Disney and you want a first hand glimpse. You of think you want to do everything? You don't. Okay. So let's start with Magic Kingdom. Your okay. duties. My must do is oh my god, I totally blank. Um, Splash Mountain because I was not anticipating liking it that much. It's a long ride, if you want a long ride. Yeah, and the water, yeah, you get wet, but it's not that bad when it's really hot out. It dries. My must do would be ride-wise, get a fast pass for Seven Dwarf Mine Train. Mm -hmm. I think it is incredibly well-themed, and I mean, I'm biased because I love Snow White, but I just thought the theme was really nice. It's the, the your memory maker videos and stuff are so cool, and it has a really nice breeze to it. Yeah. And a nice view of everything. Oh, I have mine. Oh, do. yeah. Walk down Main Street. And by that I mean, yeah, when you get there, you're going to walk down and see the castle. Go back and actually shop down Main Street. Take your time. Go and look at all the detailing. I really enjoy doing that on our last day. Actually, nice looking at displays. The hat store, like things that are kind of off the side. It's really nice to walk, just walk and shop down Main Street. I'm gonna do another fast pass for Space Mountain because mm. fast pass Space Mountain, you go on the right side, like when you walk in, you get on the right like track. Yeah. That track has so many tighter turns, it feels so much faster than the left track, which is just the standard line. So get a fast pass or yeah, just get a fast pass for Space Mountain. A fast pass more. during peak times. Yeah. Because they don't, they open the. It looks like they open the left side first, and, and then, then the right side. when it gets busy, and they have to shove the fast pass people in. So get a fast pass. Yeah. Pass. Or don't do. Or huge don't do. <sighs> Stitch is great escape. Why a waste of 15 minutes? Uh, it was like I was upset of how horrible it was. I thought it was gonna be like the room spun or you spun in your chair because they put things on you, it, like a rug, a roller coaster harness, and you're like, oh great, this is gonna be. Disney, you uh, have Imagineers, and you just put a bar over us and have Stitch hop on us, but it hits your collarbones. So many kids were screaming, it wasn't fun, it smelled, it was stupid, don't do it. The amount of kids that the second it went black just started wailing. Oh, it was awful. Okay. You need to think of a better space. And what, what park do you want to jump? We'll go in order that we went. Animal Kingdom. Okay. What are your must-do, Summer? My must-do is un a dinosaur. Didn't think I would like dinosaur that much was like, oh, well, it's not Everest. Dinosaur is so fun. I was such a fan. It's like, if you like, if you've been to like Universal and you've done like Escape from Gringotts or like for the, for yeah. minute, like those simulator rides, but you're still doing things, do that. Apparently there's one at Disneyland that is the exact same ride set up by Indiana Jones. So. Ooh, okay. What's if your other must do? In Animal Kingdom? Yeah. Well, first of all, just go to Animal Kingdom. Um, Everest is a given. It's so fun. If you like thrill, Everest. Um, the tree of life, I don't know, just like going to the tree of life and taking pictures in front of that and really just looking at it and doing a little garden walk underneath of it. I love Animal Kingdom. I'm not summer. <laughs> so my must do is Festival of the Lion King. Mm. That was an amazing show. And then I say Everest just because I wasn't a thrill seeker person, like out of all the ro like roller coaster yeah. people, I don't do them, but I loved Everest. And I thought it was really nice, and, it, and, it, and it's a thrill ride, but it's not like I'm going to bomb a thrill ride, so 10 out of 10. Uh, must, my don't is, it's tough to be a bug. I liked it, but at the same time, it's not a kid's, I don't think it's for kids, because it's very like loud, and like the 3D is kind of weird, and there's this part where like they're poking you with like things, and I don't know. I was it's like, 4D, eh. so things, you know, hit you and stuff like that. I was just like, eh, I'm kind of done. I'm I remembered this. that that was going to happen from when I was little, but I didn't. What's your must? What's your don't? My don't is not park specific. It's don't park hop. I, uh, people, so bad. while we were planning, a lot of people said, oh, you can do Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom as half day parks. And so we took that as, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll save time and we'll get the park hopper and do half. But the problem is, you, we missed out on so much stuff. Now, granted, we were sick that day, but 
even if they're not half, even if they are half day parks, you can take your time and do everything at the park that you want and then have an early dinner and go to bed. Whereas we had to miss out on we a ton rushing. of stuff because we were rushing and we didn't get to do Nemo. We didn't get to do like the walk, the animal walks yeah, or no, any of that or shopping. Yeah, none of that because we were like, oh, well, the only thing to do is Everest and Festival of Lion King and then we can leave. Hollywood Studios. My must do is Toy Story Mania. There's a reason there's a 75 minute wait. It is so much fun. It is fun. And then, oh, what was my other must do? Um, oh, watch the Star Wars stuff. Oh yeah, I don't know Star Wars at all. I've never seen a Star Wars movie, but just like watching the like Jedi training thing, I thought that was really cool. And it's nice because like the back lot, back lot expresses right there, so you can eat and watch them do it. And the little stage show thing. That they yeah. Do. What? Uh, what's yours? Mine is the Great Movie Ride. I thought it was gonna be so stupid and slow and boring. I really enjoyed it. I also say do Tower of Terror. Damn. Whoa. It's fun. It is fun and scary but in a good way and I think it's oh my god wait I'm an idiot do Fantasmic what am I even thinking of screw Tower of Terror go to Fantasmic Fantasmic was probably my favorite show that I saw oh yeah I should have said wishes for Magic Kingdom what are we thinking we didn't <laughs> we don't plan these videos people like literally five minutes before I'm like okay Summer go through what you're about to do where are the work I was thinking I was like what do we even do in Hollywood Studios Fantasmic, fantastic. Yeah, because we have to go back for Fantasmic. Yeah. My don't would be um, Star Tours. Star Tours, because I, I, I was so scared. I it's did, not the storyline. It's just like two minutes too long. We got sick. Like, I got so motion so sick. sick. It was probably one of the only times in my entire life that I got motion sick and really thought I was gonna be sick. Because I thought it was gonna be over, and then it was like one minute later. I'm like, oh my god. I was like, not okay. I was already thinking. I was like, oh my God, they're gonna have to shut down the ride. I'm gonna, oh my God, I'm gonna shut down Star Tours, and I panicked. I was okay, but it, yeah, it's it's so cool for like 30 seconds, and then when you're done, halfway through we're like we're like woo, woo, and then like and then halfway through the ride we're just silent. It's so cool for the first 30 seconds. You're like wow, I feel like I'm really in it, and then the nausea hits you, and you're like Ugh. so Epcot now must do would be walking. Just like honestly, take your time and walk around the world because there's the shops are so cool the people are really nice the food is awesome mm -hmm. and if you're there during the flower and garden festival take your time to look at all the gardens yeah we unfortunately went when soren and frozen ever after were both down closed yeah so we missed probably two of the biggest things spaceship earth i really really like oh, that's spaceship awesome earth. it's a, just that oh it's very air conditioned yeah if you nice. need to get away from the heat air conditioning it's a good ride too yeah my don't would is test track and a lot of people are gonna be like oh, are you kidding but we we waited like even in fast pass we waited like 20 minutes and like the, making the car was cool and like the the testing was cool but then once you got out you were just like in a car like you know like at the yeah. end of the day like you've done that already like there wasn't as much like like need for speed that I thought there was gonna be. Yeah, I, I was I was just underwhelmed. So like, don't um, if you can get in there and like a ten minute wait, do it. I would not do it for over a twenty minute wait. I'm gonna say don't wait for characters. And the reason I say this isn't because of Snow White. It's because we went to remember we went to try to meet Joy and Sadness, and that was just a hot oh, mess. Oh yeah. And like we wasted time there and because of that we missed Snow White and then with the rain characters in Epcot that are outside are very sensitive to the weather and so we like wasted a lot of time misreading the weather misreading the character lines and even Jasmine and Aladdin took forever I just if you're gonna meet characters spend your entire day meeting characters yeah really be devoted don't decide last minute oh, I'm gonna hop in line to meet these characters because for some reason in Epcot the lines were just so long. Like, we even went to Jasmine and Aladdin saying, oh, we're going to meet them because I wanted to meet them for Steven. And we were kind of close in line, and it still took, like, half an hour. Or, and it's, like, at the end of the day, if you're older, it's really not worth it. Like, get fast. If you want to meet princesses, you honestly have a better chance in Magic Kingdom. I love meeting characters. It's just waiting that long, not, not pre-planning. Because in Epcot, they're kind of all around, and if you don't... Really we walked around the world, like, four different times. Granted, yeah. that was for Snow White, but still. That's because you want to meet Snow White, but just plan it out better. So, yes, first timers. 
don't waste your time on some things, but. Or you know what? Do it. Try it out. Do it. I remember reading that Stitch's Great Escape was not that great, and I was like, okay, but maybe I'll like it. I think the biggest tip I could say. Most people don't. The biggest tip I actually have is don't go in there with the mentality because I sure as hell went with the mentality of, oh my god, I spent so much money and so much time on this trip that I don't do every last thing. I'm gonna be wasting it. Be wasting my trip. I You're not. You're already there. And also don't have the mentality of like if because like we watch a lot of vloggers and stuff like that and like go on websites if you don't hit all the recommendation that somebody else gave to you yeah it's fine we're all different people you could take this and be like well i love test track i go on it all like four times like screw you guys but like <laughs> just you like you can take the recommendations but also at the end of the day you do you boo okay guys no, I don't, I don't like making these videos because then I get really like Disney depressed. I know. I want to go back so bad. Ugh. Soon. Well, not really, but. Not really. Well, no, I guess soon. We only started planning this trip like 10 months out instead yeah. of a year and yeah. a half. That's true. I hope you guys like this video. I really like making Disney videos. It's fun. I like talking about Disney. Also, sometimes I forget that I get distracted by Elfie in the reflection. And I oh, yeah, like the camera is right there. But that's okay. So guys, like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more Disney things and other videos and New York videos and all that good stuff. Yay! I will see you guys. We will see you next time. Yeah. Bye! Bye!